again I'm back with another video today I wanted to do something holiday inspired Thanksgiving inspired sorry if I'm a little crooked but you know how we do over here this is this is the struggle channel for now we gonna get it right but I went to Ulta today so I got up and I was like I want to do a video I want to do a full face of something so I was saying I want to do a full face of NYX or I want to do a full face of ELF so I was shuffling through my stuff and I was like okay what do I have most of I have some NYX not much ELF but I have tried some ELF products in the past so I went and I picked up all this stuff in the store, NYX. And the cachet was like a um, hundred and something dollars. I had a foundation, brow pencil, concealer, the usual sus suspects, and a holiday palette that it was right, but I wasn't like, oh my God, this is so cute. So when she said that, I was like, you know what? Let me take the step back and rethink what I really want to do because when I buy products, I like to buy products that I'm going to use after I use it in a video. I don't want to just buy products for the sake of buying products. So I was like, you know what? I want to do something because not everybody is into high-end products or can afford high-end products. So I want to do something that's a little bit more affordable. But drugstore these days is not affordable as affordable as it used to be so i said i'm gonna take some affordable items out of my collection and i'll pick up a couple of things to add to it i did not have um i do have a beauty supply brow pencil but i don't really like it so i picked up this micro brow pencil from nyx which looks like this. I'm trying not to try and do better, y'all. And this is in the shade chocolate. And this was $9.99. And I also picked up, I did not have a drugstore primer. So I said, let me pick up a primer. And I got the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. And the reason I got, and I have used the mineral infused primer before, and I do like it. I do, I do like it. But I picked up the hydrating primer because I do have a drugstore foundation at home, but I wanted to try something a little bit new. Something more on the lines of like what's hot right now. And I do love Alyssa, Alyssa Ashley and her Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation by NYX. I got that and I got this in the shade. It says Deep Cool, but I don't see like a, I guess that's the name of the shade, Deep Cool. So those are the three things that I think I just picked up. Three things I picked up today. So what it all came down to is instead of doing a full face of a certain brand, I'm going to do an affordable holiday makeup look. Or at least that's my intentions. So I pulled out some palettes and y'all know I love to mix. I pulled out a ColourPop palette, the Perception and Makeup Shayla palette. And that looks like this, which I mean, you can do a lot with this palette, but I was feeling, I'm feeling a little bit like I want to do something spicy. So I pulled out these two palettes. I pulled out the Armed and Gorgeous by Jaclyn Hill. And I think I may have used this particular one only once. And that's what that looks like. And I also pulled out the, the warmest, warmest palette of them all, which is the Ring the Alarm palette, I believe. I got all of these clear slips in all of these because I keep these in my palace I try to I pulled out the arm um, the ring the alarm palette which is the warmest of them all and I feel like Thanksgiving time you feel feeling like pumpkin vibes and you know I don't know just 
just neutral and you want your foundation to like be kind of spackled on because you're eating and you're drinking and you want it to last because you want to look good all day so I also pulled out for powder I pulled out uh, Sephora micro mold powder and for concealer I have the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser and this is not new I had this before and I do like this concealer you see how much I used about halfway and I have it in the shade where's the shade name I think it's tan I think it says tan I don't know yeah it says tan doesn't look tan to me but I do like this shade so my face is clean. I haven't primed yet. I'm going to go ahead and prime with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. And I got the Hydrating Primer because the Can't Stop, Won't Stop is a matte foundation. And if y'all don't know yet, ooh, was I supposed to shake this? It's kind of watery. Um, if y'all don't know, it smells. Hmm. That smells. It smells like. Some kind of like cooking oil. I don't like my face to be super mad. That's this. This smells like I don't know. It smells funny. It smells like castor oil, and it feels like oil. So we gonna go in first with this NYX brow pencil, and y'all know I have my. What is it? My Ruby Kisses Go Brow in the shade Chocolate, Rich Chocolate Brown. And this is from the Beauty Supply Store, so this is affordable. And we just gonna go in and see what kind of look we could come up with with these affordable products that we have. And the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Palettes are $15 each. You can get all four, because there's four in the vault. You can get all four for $40, I wanna say. Uh, this primer feels greasy so I'm just gonna go in and do my brows like I normally do with my favorite pencil but we're gonna use this pencil today okay y'all I'm back that was a struggle I still have some Maybelline instant age rewind on the back of my hand this right here I use that to prime my lids and carve out my brows. I don't know if it's the the brow pencil itself that's like so slick or if it's the primer. We got them lids primed and I went to pull out my LA Girl Pro Conceal which I do I do really care for these. I do really like them, but I guess I got rid of most of them because they probably had expired. This is the Ring the Alarm palette. We're going to go into this one first, and we're going to take the shade. Let's start light and go in with the shade Rush, Rush which is this one right here, and we're just going to fluff that. In the top part of the the lid we're not going into the direct crease yet we're just gonna so i'm gonna go into the shade frame which is this burgundy shade and i'm a swirler y'all know that that's why i do my eyes first so what y'all got planned for the holiday who's cooking i, I loaded my brush up but so good, it's makeup, right, y'all? You won't know what it can do unless you take it for a test run. Go real fast. So, if you come to my channel, you don't come here for basic every day because that's really not what we do over here. We play with a lot of color over here on this channel. I need a deep color. This is why I mix palettes because we got the gold deep. We might cut the crease today. We might do a cut shoot. We ain't got a good concealer to do a cut crease. 
I'm gonna go in with the shade played out from the ColourPop palette, that browny shade, that one, played out. And I'm gonna just go on the outside of the eye. Maybe if I ain't swirl so much, we wouldn't be so deep right now. Okay, this went way, like, left. I was thinking orange, and here I am with some, the deep burgundy eye. Let's go in and try to lighten around. Try, try, yeah. Usually when you go dark, ain't no going back. I'm gonna go into the shade Alert, which is this bright orange, and I'm gonna go around, again, that burgundy shade and see. Cause I want it to be like, I don't know. So I wanna do something. Nope. We gonna cut this crease. Now I have this, cause we keeping it in the drugstore. I have this Better Skin. Hmm. Super Stay Foundation from Maybelline, which is way too light for me to be using anywhere else except for on my crease, if I'm gonna cut my crease. It's watery. It smells like paint. I don't know, y'all. I tell you, the drugstore, not only are the prices sickening, but the products, some, a lot of the products be like, what is this? And I'ma look up. If you didn't know, that's a trick. Look up. For hooded eye people, well, I don't know if it worked for you. Know. But you look up, and wherever your your concealer transfers to, that's how high you wanna go. When you wanna do like a true to your eye shape cut crease. And I'm just gonna use this tiny little brush to tap. Maybelline is cool, but I guess if you're gonna be super stay, you gotta have some type of super staying powers. And maybe it's paint. I don't know. Drugstore, they be looking at you like, did you use that? We know take back. So I want to know, like, tell me in the comments, what are y'all going to eat for Thanksgiving? <clears throat> Hopefully this video goes up before Thanksgiving. If it doesn't, still tell me. If, if it goes up before, tell me what you're looking forward to eating. If it goes up after, tell me what you ate. Do we want to go Super Bowl? Like, we going to the club after dinner? Or we just trying to look good in all the family pictures? <clears throat> I think I'm going to go into Boom. Oh, I said you want to look good on pictures and there's a shade in here called On Camera. We got to use it. Yeah, on camera. So I'm just going to put that on. We're going to tap it out. Like I always say, tap, tap, tap it out. This eye is a bit much. This is when you see your, your old family that you ain't seen in a long time and they be like, you think you got enough makeup on? Be like, but it's to be though. This totally went in a different direction because this is not what I came here to do. I came here to do an orange eye. A neutral basic eye. Y'all remember that? A neutral basic eye. So we gonna go back in with that Kayla brush and back into frame that burgundy shade. And we gonna just on the outer edge, just kind of fluff it over. To give the eye some little wave of dimension. Let's go into, cause this is pretty yellow. We are gonna go into Diva, which is more on the coppery side, that's Diva. And we're going to. Because it's kind of flaky. And we're going to take that and. Woo! Uh oh. Okay, makeup Shayla. I see you. Maybe we didn't need to wet it. I just lowered my brush up too much. Okay, 
Okay, now we got some of those orange tones coming in. Fade, and we're gonna put that one towards the end. It looks like a deep brown like we already put down there, but it's got a tiny bit of shimmer, which probably won't show up on the eye, but we're gonna do it anyway. And we're gonna pull a shade out. Oh, we'll lap it a little bit. We're gonna be using this Ardell Wispies. I got one pair left. We're gonna use them. And we're gonna put some. Do I have. I do have a. We're gonna use this. Um, what is this? Master Precise Maybelline Curvy Liner. We're going to put a little bit of line on our lash line. Okay, y'all, we back. We got some liner. We got some lashes. I'm going to put some more liner once my lash glue is what I think dry. Because we is gold. All right. Deep cool. I don't know if this is going to match. But we're going to give it our best shot. And we just going to buff this into the face and see do it now I can work with it I think I think so well it should go good over that greasy um primer cause this is a real matte foundation from what I hear my forehead tends to sweat a lot and I just don't want a whole bunch of foundation up I don't like it. Just don't like it, y'all. So I do my bottom half and then I take the excess and put it on my forehead. So how does it bring it up? Y'all gotta tell me. Don't have me out here in the streets looking. It looks real smooth, y'all. Hmm, we might be on the sun. So what I like to do. After I put my foundation on with my brush, I like to go over it for the beauty blender. Damp, and I just like to, just to make sure everything is blended to the best of my ability. And that's what they do. That's what I do. That gives me. I don't know if it's the primer. Or my wig is shifting. Or if it's the foundation mixed with this primer. I think it looks good. I would rock it. Would I rock it with that, that primer? I don't think so. I don't like that primer. It's too slick. So I'm going to take this Instant Age Rewind. I don't like this bottle dispenser, whatever it is. And I'm gonna go up under the eyes, down the nose a little bit, above the lip, and on the chin. I hate this applicator. Love the product, but hate the applicator. It's just so nasty. You got to let your concealer like get a little bit tacky before you blend it out. That's how you get that coverage though. I always wear my under eye last. Always. Because I like to give it time to... This foundation is so pretty. I like to give it time to sit and do its magic. And I take excess on my forehead. Y'all know I don't do a marijuana. It don't work for me. Yep. Oh, we ain't got no, no drugstore under eye powder, but guess what we gonna use? Oh, I do have a drugstore powder. It's kind of red, though. It's Maybelline Loose Fit Powder in the shade Dark 40. It says loose finishing powder, but to me, it's kind of red. But we gonna try it. This is what it looks like. So. Sasha Buttercup. Sasha Buttercup is 
affordable. You can get it off of Amazon. I think I'm gonna have to mix a little bit. We're gonna mix. We the mad scientists today. That's Sasha Buttercup. Well, they can't be red. We don't want to be red. And we're just gonna set that under our. It's not too bright. We don't want to be crusty, even though we probably could stand to let this powder sit with that greasy primer. And then we're going to take that Sephora Micro Smooth Powder because I don't normally set, but I don't feel like with this primer. That's a good idea to not be setting your face. Hope that all my blush from Black Radiance, I think it is. This is Black Radiance? Yes, it is Black Radiance. Toasted on some blush. And blush up these cheeks. This is a pretty color. Toasted on there. And then. We're going to bronze, bronze. We are going to bronze our face with the Black Radiance Contour Kit. But we bronzing, as usual. This one on my hairline. Elf Alyssa Ashley Gloss. And what is the shade? Nude Rose. That is pretty. So we want to spray our face and just melt the powder down a little bit. Not too much because we got that greasy primer, y'all. This, guys, is the final look. So tell me, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving, for the holidays? Well, Thanksgiving mostly because that's the one that's coming up first. So... We're not going to rush time away. We're going to take life one day at a time. But what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Are you looking forward to turkey, mac and cheese? What's your family tradition? Do y'all put pickles on the table? Because, like, my brother's girlfriend's family, they put pickles on the table. I mean, but to each his own. What's your family tradition? What are you looking forward to? Me? It's mac and cheese and... Things some candy in. Oh yeah, and I want some turkey. Oh yeah, and I want some green. Shoot, I'm just looking forward to Thanksgiving dinner and I am thankful to have the family that I have, the friends that I have. I'm thankful for waking up every day. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful that I get to have fun and I get to play in a lot of makeup just because I can. But until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. Please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Come on, come rock with us. We're going to be doing a lot of different looks, and we're going to be playing in a lot of shit. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.